One of South Africa's most treasured gems, Gavin Ryder, frequently showing at Paris Fashion Week, we're about to see his winter 2013 collection. I'm Gavin Raja, I'm a South African based designer and couturier. I think this collection was about looking at what would we need to have a future that was perfect. So the title of the collection was called Future Perfect. It had very strong masculine undertones as well. You know, there's lots of emphasis on cinched waists, uh, masculine, um, you know, shoulders with the shoulder pads, lots of kind of details, lots of kind of jogging pants teamed up with very ornate kind of tops and things. And we had a Latin phrase which we had an Art Raja ambigram done in the Latin phrase with Surge et Supera, which meant rise and conquer. And it was just a message I hope that people got that, you know, we have to overcome our insecurities either emotionally, physically, economically, to want to create a perfect future. I learned a long time ago that one must stick to what one does best. And I do just what I really do feel comfortable with and what people really buy from me. And the intrinsic kind of essence of the brand is really about having an ultra kind of femininity. And it's about women who are not willing to compromise their femininity.
He always has a sophistication to his look. This time around he stepped outside the box a little bit, had a little bit more edge, so we wanted to follow through on that. There's been such a big trend with regards to neon, so we wanted to pick up on that. So we thought we'd give it a twist on the smoky eye. Really, really dark, almost grungy smoky eye with this bolt of neon through the eye. All the pieces in his collection really tied into the face, so you're seeing the accents of neon, the gold reflective belt, and all these elements we followed through on the face. Gavin Raj's show this evening had a military feel to it with some really beautiful gowns included as well. So with the hair, we went for a very high ponytail, like a Lara Croft ponytail, bringing in the military theme, which also gave a sophisticated feel for those beautiful gowns that he incorporated as well. from the Gavin Rogers show and I thought it was very interesting, it was very cool. Um, one thing I loved about it was the fact that he paid homage to the old school type of, of runway fashion shows in the sense that um, in the end of the fashion show the showstopper is actually a bridal gown. So I thought that was very cool, nice touch. It was almost like a runway 101 so I thought that was very interesting. Well Gavin is always changing with, with his each and every collection. I've worked with him before and I continue to work with him but I continue to be surprised. He always finds inspiration in the strangest things. I never thought war and glamour could coincide but it made perfect sense you know and his previous collection was very poetic and you know it was very soft and this one was, was very hard but still feminine. 